G'day guys, my name is Wildcard, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching this content, I really do appreciate it. Special thanks to the guys who hit the join button down below, and actually decide to support me financially. In a tough time like this, I really do appreciate your money. It's, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice of you that you did that for me. And, uh, yeah, thanks to you. So, uh, Six Nations this weekend, after one week off, we're all feeling missing the rugby already. And uh, this weekend, we've got a huge round coming up, round three. This still, every team, except for Italy, is still in the chase for the championship. And this weekend, the bitter rivals are added again. England taking on Wales at Twickenham. Starring, starring, the superstar referee, Mike Adamson. Okay, uh, the best referee in the world. And uh, I can't wait, I can't wait. I'm more excited to see the referee and uh, whether or not Eddie Jones is gonna cop a fine after the match and uh, and then then some yeah then to be honest that's that's one of the big draw for me to look to this game is how good or bad Mike Adamson's performance is going to be in this match and uh, obviously England taking a Wales is always exciting lots of rivalry lots of hatred and uh, with a bit of a spice of the referee on the field this is set out to be a great, great, great match this weekend. So, going into this game, a lot of changes for both teams due to injuries. Let's have a look at the news. England, everybody waited, everybody wanted. Manu Tuilangi finally returned. And then immediately withdraws due to a hamstring injury. So, Tuilangi was announced in the team, but he is expecting to be replaced. So, Joe Merchant gets called back into training with the squad. So, most likely... The squad, they will have Elliot Daly moving into center and have Joey Merchant maybe on the bench. We have to see the updated squad list, but it's not going to be confirmed till match day. But we do know Joey Merchant is in the 23 now, and uh, there's going to be a bit of shuffling in the in the team. We'll have a look at it in a minute. For the England side uh, as well, big return, Colin Laws. Had a bit of concussion injury. He's back in the England side. He's absolutely tremendous for the England team. He's... Uh, the third line out jumping option, he's a blindside flanker, but he's just tremendous at a breakdown. He's really, really good in the line outs and a quite, a, quite a good set piece executioner. So, really good to see Courtney, Courtney, Courtney Laws back in the team for England. So, he is not out, unlike Tui Lange, he is still confirmed as of now being in the squad. And uh, for Wales, big return. Falatau gets to return at number 8 spot for, for Wales. Really brings a bit more punch for the Wales team in terms of the four pack, in terms of that breakdown, and also he brings some really, really good running game as well in, to support the backs. So some big, uh, big utility weapon comes in for the Wales in the form of the big number eight. But the big omission from the team, Reese Zamet, Louis Reese Zamet is dropped from the team. He's not playing this weekend. To be frank, a, a lot of guys probably felt you know there's a lot of fan fair going for Louis Reese Zamet. Personally, I thought he probably should have been dropped before the Scottish game. His performance against England, not against England, sorry. His performance against um, Ireland was pretty poor. His defense was pretty bad. He was missing a lot of tackles. And uh, I thought he was going to get dropped, to be frank, for the Scottish game. But he, he retained the number 11 jersey. So this game, he's got dropped. I do think there's a lot of work for him to do, especially on his defense. But we will see him to return. He's still young kid. There's, uh, it's not the end of the, the run for him by any stretch of imagination. Uh, Josh Adams comes back in at number 11 jersey for the Wales side. The weather for England, it's going to be pretty good. No rain. Pretty good conditions on the Saturday night. 11 degrees uh, in London at Twickenham, the home of England rugby. Huge game. Perfect conditions. Um, not much else to say there. History between the two teams is pretty close overall. I thought England would have been way ahead. So out of 125 games, uh, 137 games being played, England's 65 wins to Wales 60 and 12 draws. Uh, and then last year, the most importantly, the most recent game they played against each other last year, Wales did come up with a win. But that was in Cardiff. So this game in Twickenham, at Twickenham, could be, uh, could be different. So, let's have a look at the players. Um, going into this game, the Welsh team had a really poor performance against Ireland. And then against Scotland, the Welsh team really improved. The, the defense has significantly improved. 
play like a world-class defense, really clinical execution in the King game. The set pieces was a lot better. The discipline, huge improvement on the discipline on the Welsh side. Really was able to put Scotland uh, under a lot of pressure. And uh, yeah, was able to win against Scotland at home. And uh, quite a bit of an upset there as nobody was expecting the Welsh side to win due to their overwhelming number of injuries in the team. But that was home. This game is away against England. This is going to be much, much, much tougher game. And just the way that playing against England, in my opinion, the tackling, like they, they can't have nearly the same amount of missed tackles as they did against Ireland. So if you can continue the good tackle count against like they did against Scotland, if they can continue the discipline they had against Scotland, and uh, Dan Bigger don't do a stupid drop goal, uh, maybe, maybe there's a chance, but I, I, I think this could be a little bit tough for Wales to win this one. Uh, but it's against England, the bitter rivals. If, if there is, a, if there is a, you know, special performance, if there's one game that you have to bring out your best, it's this game. And uh, if Wales play as good as they did against Scotland, there could be uh, could be an upset here. For England, there's a few changes all over the places due to the due to injuries. So have a look at it. Um, so obviously, the England played Italy last week, and that was an excellent execution, a p flawless. 33 points to nil. A lot of points being scored from England side. Showed a lot of talent. Showed a lot of different strategies. Showed really good running game, and just a lot of smoothness against Italy. Um, but is England going to bring that into against Wales? We have to see. So it's really about how good Wales can disrupt that momentum that England had and obviously the uh, huge return is in the form of um, Corley Norse will bring a huge huge boost to the England side in their four pack this is going to be tough for Wales but uh, yeah let's have a look at the exact lineup Ellis Genge comes in number one for England side Luke Cowan Dickey number two Scar Sinclair number three the front rowers unchanged so th this team um, um so the, 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 the this team currently i'm comparing to not against the, the italy side this is compared to the um to the side that played against scotland so yeah the, the changes are that i've noted here the the the, the changes are, it's in comparison to the scottish game not in comparison to the, to the italy game uh, just 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 keep that in mind because otherwise it, it would just it, it doesn't really make sense to to use the italy game as the the team was yeah, shuffled around obviously because of Italy. So this these changes are based on the changes from Scotland. So unchanged front row against a unchanged front row from Wales against um against Scotland as well. So Win Jones number one. Many think that he's probably the best loose air prop in the world. One of the loose air props in the world. Ryan Elias number two. Thomas Francis number three. Ryan Elias his lineup has improved a lot, especially against Scotland. Something that he really needs to keep in touch. In that game, Luke Cowan Dickey. Um, I am surprised that he got he got the number two jersey again. Jamie George has played really well against Italy. I thought Jamie George deserved the two number two jersey, but maybe maybe um, Eddie Jones wanted to have like a new kind of look in the team. Uh, he sticks to Luke Cowan Dickey despite the fact that that penalty try that he gave away whilst under tremendous amount of pressure. Everybody can understand. The bit of you know uh, the, the 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 misjudgment of the the, the, the decision making the wrong decision making under pressure, but in my opinion, not because of the penalty try, because of the I thought Jamie George just had pretty good performance against Italy. I thought Jamie George deserved the two spot, but Luke County gets the two. Uh, Charlie Hughes moves on the bench to the number four spot for for um, for England. Uh, Will Rollins. Gets number four jersey again for Wales. Adam Beers there's number five. Uh, unchanged second rowers for Wales team to keep that scrum uh, line out steady. Mauro Utoje comes in number five for England side. Probably yeah one of the best players in England side in the four pack. Just uh, the, one of the yeah one of the best players in the pack. Uh, it's just tremendous in every aspect of the game, and he has tremendously improved in his discipline. He was criticized a lot last year for his discipline issues, and that has really improved a lot in. It's six nations so far. Colin Laws comes in number six. Uh, again, he was criticized as well last year for his discipline issues, but we shall see if he's actually, um, yeah, we'll see if that's improved or not. He hasn't played so far in the six nations. Ross Moriarty moves from number eight to number six for, for Wales. Tom Curry at number seven for England. Uh, TM Basham moves from, he's actually moved from six to seven. I, I, I got this wrong. He's moved from blind side flanker to open side flanker. TM Basham. 
and he's done. He's like one of the highest work, work rate. He has one of the highest work rate in the Welsh side. So it's. I think he's really, you know, earned that number seven spot for the Welsh team due to his extremely high work rate and like extremely high tackle count and success rate. As so like low miss tackle rate as well. Uh, Alex Dombrand finally gets a start for the England side number eight jersey. This um this has been a lot of talks for for him to start as this had a really stellar performance for the. Uh, what's his name for the um, Harlequins and then yeah, he's getting a star number eight really really good to see and then the big return for the Welsh side uh, Fella Tower comes back in at number eight jersey. So in the back line the There's a, a bit of a change for the England side. We're gonna expect to come up uh, number nine number nine position Harry Randall gets the start over Ben Youngs I thought this is a bit of a bit of a bit of a big call for England side maybe they wanted a faster Attack options from nine, from nine, maybe, maybe. I, I thought this is, uh, I thought the uh, um, Quirk, Ra Rafi Quirk, is not in the squad. I thought Rafi Quirk probably would have deserved the night if they were gonna try someone new at night. Uh, but Eddie Jones, Sir Eddie, the Honorable Sir Eddie, has decided Harry Randall gets the night at nine position, comes off the bench from the 21. Marcus Smith retains the number 10. The most exciting prospect for England rugby in recent times. I uh, can't wait to see him play again. Uh, so this will be very exciting. For Welsh side, the combination has been the same. Tom Williams comes in at number 9. Dan Bigger at number 10. Bigger was criticised a lot last time when he played with against... Like, yeah, like when, 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 the, when Wales played against Scotland. Due to his... He had like a bit of injury, but he stayed on the field for the whole game anyway. I really didn't really fault him, fault him for that. I do think that... You know, as the captain, you kind of have to lead by example. You've had a bit of injury, and you can tough it out. I think he did the right decision just to, to show, like, a leadership um, point of his view. The only thing I do have to criticize for him is the drop goal when uh, Wiles had, uh, had, like, yellow card, one player advantage, and had, like, full-on penalty advantage, and then bigger slots of drop goal uh, before, before I try... Could have probably been scored at that point. But in the end, Wales did win because of that drop goal. So it did pay out for Wales. But in terms of decision making, that was a little bit... Probably could have cooler heads. Probably should have prevailed over there. And number 11, both teams has changes. Jack Knoll comes in for number for number 11 jersey for the England side. And Josh, Josh Adams comes in at number 11 for Reece, Louis Zambia. Josh Adams was dropped against Scotland because he was playing he was playing center uh, against Ireland and then he had a pretty pretty ter terrible time at center as you can imagine but he's back at 11 really good to see because I was yeah I, I thought Josh Adams is a much better 11 than uh, an outside center Marlo Tuilangi is out Joe Merchant is in the team so we're not sure how this is gonna go but most likely Henry Slade is gonna move into 12 and most likely um, what's his name um, Elia Daly will be moved into 13 and Joe Merchant probably be a reserve at number 23 jersey. That's most likely what's going to happen, but we're not sure yet. This hasn't been an updated and um, this won't be updated until game day. Uh, for the wild side, Nick Tompkins and Owen Watkins is the center combination once again. Nick, the cheat Tompkins, uh, despite him being a cheat in my opinion, but he's, uh, the jokes aside, he's actually an exceptionally good player. His work rate in the back line is tremendously high. In that game against Ireland, his performance was, you know, leaps and bounds above the rest of the back line. And he was the only one who was making all these tackles and not missing. I uh, like, have very few missed tackles. Like, he was making more tackles than everybody else in the back line and missed fewer tackles than just about everybody else as well. So, really, really, really good player here, number 12. And how England's going to go and match up with Nick. It's actually uh, interesting to see how they're gonna match this up. So Henry Slade against Nick, yeah, we'll have to see how they actually match up. But Tui Lungi against Nick would have been a huge test for Nick, but now that's not gonna happen. Um, yeah, we'll have to see exactly what's going to happen in the center position. And then for number 13, 14 jersey, Max Mallins stays number 14 for England. Uh, Alec, Alex Cuthbert stays number 14 for Wales. And then Freddie Stewart, England's goalkeeper, stays number 15 jersey. Liam Williams, uh, probably the best fullback for Wales, and number 15 jersey for Wales team. In terms of the kicking game for both teams, the England has really dialed back a lot of the kicking game with Marcus Smith, but there's still a lot of 
like unnecessary kicks in, on the field. We shall see how that plays out for England's side. So, uh, with Fertis Yu and Liam Williams, two really, really good fullbacks, I don't think those high balls are going to really work that well in a game like this. So, I will be expecting Mark Smith to do more of like smaller chip kicks instead of like big, you know, big long angle kicks. Um, of even box kicks in that matter. So we'll have to see how that goes. So the kicking game could be a little bit different from what we're expecting and also having Henry Slade at 12. He does kick from the 12 position, um, but again, he doesn't kick that much. We shall see how this goes. Um, the Yeah, we shall see how this goes. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. So the, the fullback, I mean, sorry, not fullback, the, the, the reserves are uh, unchanged for the England front rowers. Jamie George at number 16, Joe Marla number number 17. Will Stewart, number 18. Uh, Lewis Lake stays number 16 for Wales. Gareth Thomas, number 17 for Wales. Leon Brown's the new addition for the Wales team at number 18 jersey. Nick Isekev is, is uh, moved down for number 5 to 19 spot for England. Sam Simmons moves down to the bench from number 8 spot for England. And Ben Youngs moves from the number 9 spot for to 21 for England. Whilst the Welsh side, Seb Davies stays at number 19. Jack Morgan gets caught in for number 20 jersey. Kieran Hardy gets caught in at number 21. I forgot to find a photo of Kieran. Uh, and then George Ford stays number 22 for England. And then Elliot Daly, currently at number 23, but most likely will be playing 13. And Joey Merchant will probably be moving into number 23 jersey. Uh, for the Welsh side, I'm very, very excited for this. I've been calling for this since like round one. Gareth Anscombe. Is finally caught back into the team at number 22. If that figure gets another knock in the knee, hopefully Gareth Anscombe gets to show off what he's got. His Six Nation return, can't wait. He was once upon a time. The Grand Slam winner for Wales. The uh, the preferred number 10 for Wales for in 2019. So, yeah, we'll have to see how he goes. He's been out for a couple of years for injury. He did play in the November Test Series against the All Blacks. Where he threw an intercept half to pass to Bowden Barrett. But uh, there's been a few months for him to work on his skills. Get those rust out of the system. I can't wait to see Gareth Anscombe returning on the field. Gareth, Jonathan Davies, number 23 as usual. Uh, coming in for the Welsh side. That is the lineup guys. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your predictions. What? How do you think this is going to play out? In my, I think England being at home. This is a close game. England being at home. I think England's going to pull out this one by a, by a little margin, by a small margin. But if there is a chance for Wales to put an upset if Wales can put the defense that they had against Scotland. If they can play that, play like that again, there is a chance for Wales to win. But I think England is a little bit too strong at home. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys later this week for the reviews. Cheers.